Alright guys, I know it's a bit of a weird start, but this today is going to be a how-to kind of video. It's going to be how to install Forge and then how to install a mod. And then hopefully we'll be able to play that mod. It's one that's been asked for me to go through quite a bit. I've already done two mods, um, two mod videos of me playing the mod because it's an absolutely amazing one. It's um, the Modern Warfare one and everyone loves it. It seems to be get, <laughs> get lots of attention. So we're going to show how to install forge and download that mod today this was actually specifically requested by a guy called i'm really sorry if i pronounce this wrong fejic or fejic i i'm not 100 percent sure but he requested it a few weeks ago and i've been so busy and i've just been able to get round to it today so we are going to go through and download and install forge and stuff like that okay let's open up chrome and what we want to do is guys i'm going to try and hopefully make this as simple as possible first off we're going to download the forge we need so all you're going to do is type in the top minecraft forge here we go enter simple and it should be this one that comes straight up at the top as you see it's highlighted i've already it's all, i've already been on this load so let's go on to it and then this is the new layout most of you that will be familiar with this but this is the new layout this is what it looks like and then down here we have all the different versions and then the various ones we can download down here at the moment the 1.12 is selected here but we don't want that one today today we are going to do the 1.11.2 so we're just going to select that there we go boom and it will pop up here if you can see where my mouse is I'm going to shake it around a little bit there right here see these guys and what you want to do is, I personally will always go for the recommended. You can go for the latest if you really choose. Um, but I always just go for recommended. It's just to me, it makes a bit more sense. But anyway, let's select this. You can be sure it's the MC 1.11.2. You go down here again, select that. You can see it's selected. And yeah, what we just want to hear is Windows Installer. So there we go. Is it? There we go. And it will pop up along the top up here, guys. Everything below the top forge bar, ignore it. Everything down here, ignore it. Just don't touch anything down here. It's all ads. It's, it's rubbish. Now you'll see after it's done a five-second countdown, it will see, show you a skip button. And you're just going to want to hit that skip button, guys. Okay, there we go. Hopefully, if you hit it, and <laughs> hit it correctly, down in the bottom left-hand corner, down here now, you will see it pop up. So Forge 1.11.2 is downloaded. And then if you can hit that arrow and show in folder. And that will take you directly to your downloads folder. Okay, so it's all popped up here in your downloads. Okay, so now that's there. What you want to actually do now is you want to go into your Minecraft. Because this won't work. Like if you click on this, you go to here double click and when it pops up and then you hit OK it won't work unless you've already activated or downloaded um, 1.11.2 in here okay so I've just launched Minecraft okay and then I've gone across to launch options okay guys and what we're just gonna do is we're gonna hit add new and doesn't doesn't need a name we're going to go down to release 1.11.2 because this needs to be downloaded for it to then download the Forge version. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. You need to go into your launch options, go to 1.11.2 for this example anyway. Um, and then you're just going to want to hit that. So it's popped up in here, the version, everything's selected. Doesn't need a name, you can if you want, KD, KDF, whatever. There we go, save. Okay, so now it's popped in down here, and then you go across, you can click any one of these, just so it pops up with this bit back here, so you can hit the play. So you're going to go to the drop drop up arrow, whatever, drop down arrow, and then you're going to go scroll down till you find that 1.11.2. You're going to select it, and then as you see here, it's not downloaded, so that means we've got to download it for in order, in order, for the forge to then download so I hope that makes sense um, okay let's hit download so now it's just downloading and boom Minecraft will now then load up the 1.11.2 release 
Okay. I know this may seem a bit confusing, but you might just need to rewind the video a few times just to wrap your head around it. Okay, so we're done with that. We'll just hit quit. And then we can go back into our folder and then we can activate this. What I tend to do though is I've got all my Forge um, installers in a nice little folder. Where's my nice little folder? Okay, uh, where is it? Then I've got them all here. See, they're all chilling here. But just so you guys all know, I haven't done anything. I'm going to do it straight from here. So you can all tell. Okay, let's open it. And then we just want to hit the install client. If that's not already selected, I don't know why it wouldn't be. Should always be on that automatically. And this is just showing where it's going. So it's going to your app data roaming Minecraft. Don't you don't change this guys. Don't change it. Don't start messing around with it. Just leave it there. It's simpler. It's easy. Okay, we're just gonna hit OK and it should pop up downloading all the libraries. And it takes seconds. As you can just see, it takes seconds. Okay, so I'll just do a recap. You go into Minecraft, you go into the launcher, you go across to launch options, you go add new, then you go down to download the one the release you need to download, in this case, the 1.11.2. You download that, so you go back across here, you download it, and then you can go and then download the Forge file. Okay, so that should all be working now. Actually, I should have kept this up, and that hopefully should appear here. Yes, there you go. Sometimes, though, guys, don't get worried if it doesn't appear here. You might just need to go across back into launch options, and then it will appear right at the bottom with the other Forge releases. Okay, so it will appear down here. Um, but anyway, ours is being quite fortunate and uh, it's named itself and it's, everything is in here. So, as you see, you're going to have to download it again. It shouldn't take too long. Launch failed. Fantastic. Inherent properties. Oh, well. Okay, let's try it this way then. I guess it's good. It's showing we've got issues. Um, let's try... What was it? KD Forge. Okay, save this. Let's see if this one works. Kadoki. Where are you at? KD Forge, here we go. Okay. There we go. Lovely. It's unpackaging and it's all running now. So don't worry in case that doesn't work for some reason. My one didn't work just then. Um, it might be because I had it already installed and then uninstalled it to show you guys how to install it. it might That might have been the issue. But anyway, it's all now fine. Forge is up. The Forge is running. You will see it down here in the bottom left-hand corner. It will tell you how many mods are loaded, how many mods are active. If you really want to go check, you can go into here. It will tell you what's going on down the side here. So that's perfect. It's running smoothly. You can go in and you can play if you want, but we're not going to do that for now. We're just going to quit because that's all loaded up. That's perfect. Okay, next thing you guys are going to want to do is, you're going to want to go into your folders. You can go activate any folder. You want to go to the top bar up here. You're going to select that. should be highlighted. Delete everything out there. Delete it all. And then you want to do, this is very important. You're going to want to go to percentage app data. Has to be lowercase. Has to be lowercase, guys. None of that caps lock stuff. Nonsense. Okay, and I just hit enter. So that I'll do it again. Percentage, app, data, percentage. Where is it? There we go. Enter, boom. We're here. Lovely. And it's taken us straight to the roaming. And then, as you see, you'll have a nice little Minecraft folder at the top here. And just going to want to click on that. Okay? And then it should bring up everything down here. Some of you that are, haven't downloaded Forge or haven't downloaded mods before, most the likeliness is you haven't downloaded them before if you're watching this video to be fair you're just going to want to create a mods folder you know right click new folder and then you can name it mods and then that will just go in here and that's perfect that's all sorted and then if you want to see what forge um versions you have installed you can go here versions and it will tell you the versions that are installed it's like i have 1.7.10 i have a few of them but anyway, go back out to here, your mods. Okay, then this folder is empty. So, you're going to want to go grab the mod that corresponds or matches um, the release forge. 
I really, I don't think that made much sense. Um, but the mod you download will will match, hopefully, if you've got the right one. But we're going to use the example of Vix Modern Warfare. Let's see if it's come up here. So don't get fooled. There's a 1.7.10, but we're going to go for the 1.11.2. Okay, so let's go into here. Let's go find... Where is it? Where's the download section in here? Okay, here we go. Down here. And you're just going to want to hit that. And you don't pay attention to this nonsense, guys. Don't get fooled by ads. You're going to hit that download. And then, see? Bottom left-hand corner. It's all downloading. It's all sorting itself out down there. You're just going to want to hit keep. You don't want to discard it, obviously. That would be silly. And then that should all be fine. And then, yet again, you hit the arrow. You go to show in folder brings you back to your downloads and it's there okay and let's now open back up our app data so got that open and we've got our downloads and just drag it across guys just drag it across really simple as you see next to it has 1.11.2 and we know that's the forge we are using so you can see it responds um, you don't want to get the 1.7.10 in here or anything like that. It won't work. It will crash your forge. You're trying to activate. So if I'd now tried going in and tried to play this mod, specifically this one, in the 1.7.10 forge, it won't work. It won't. It might let you into the forge, um, but it, the mod won't appear. It will only work in its correct forge. Okay, I hope that made it, that was a bit clearer. Okay, so we're just going to go back in and we're going to launch Minecraft. So we're going to launch the correct forge that matches. There we go. You can see my mouse. There we go. I'm just going to hit play. Okay, let's see if this all works. <laughs> if it all goes to plan, it's all run fairly smoothly as far. Let's go. Okay, doing its thing. It's just, just going through downloading. Um, it's, yeah, it's a fair size file. It may take a bit of time, but that's that's fine. It's not crashed. There we go. Lovely. So we're just gonna go single player for this. Create new world. Creative, you know, you know how this is, guys. Okay. And let's see, let's see. Fingers crossed this is all running very smoothly. Um I'm surprised I've been able to do this in one hit. Okay, lovely. We are in. Awesome. Okay, just to prove it works. We've got them all across the top here. Look at this. Epic. Epic, epic, epic. And this is actually the updated one. Oh, <laughs> lovely. Okay. I am haven't played the updated one yet. Um, I'm, I'm just more intrigued flicking through. Okay, let's get out AK-47. What mag is this taking? This is taking a 30 round 7.62 times 39 mil. So where's the mags in this new one? Well, here they are. So what was that? That was a 30 round, 30 rounds, here we go. Okay, so now you're just gonna wanna hit R. I've loaded in that mag, oh, I always love this. Boom, and then I'm just left clicking and murking them. And then right click to zoom in. Wow, I do love this mod, I do love this. This is easily one of my favorite mods, so I'm quite happy to show this one. So, I mean, there we go guys. Downloading Forge, it's not that hard, it's not that scary, and as you see right there, the mod works fine. Um, remember, R to load in, and then unload clips, there we go, I just hit R again to unload the clip, and then I could load in a new clip. And if you're having trouble loading magazines into this, like, into the guns in this mod, Please make sure you don't have any other mods installed. Some do work with this mod, but a lot don't. I've experienced this, a lot of other people have experienced this, and it's caused a bit of a nightmare, and people are like, K Kieran, why, why is it not letting me load guns and fire them? And 99% of the time, it's because you have another mod installed. But anyway, guys, I really hope this helped out. Let me know in the comments down below if this was clear enough. And I, I really hope it was. And Fajik, if you're watching this, I hope it's, hope it's up to your standards, Fajik. And everything's okay and clear for you. Okay, guys, till next time.
See ya.